climbing interest rates and how to navigate it in today's market. Hey everybody, Mike Walters with the Stern Team with Keller Williams and I'm with uh, Mandy Henry up from Intercap Lending. And we are gonna talk today about the current market as it relates to interest rates. Let me just set up some perspective and then I'm gonna let Mandy just sort of just roll through this because the reality is this. January 1, we were sitting, what, about three to three and a quarter? Correct. Okay. And right now we're mid fives. Mid fives. Okay. So two points in a quarter. Two points. We've talked about this on videos that we've done, but for every 1% that an interest rate goes up, it takes away 10% affordability. We're literally 20% down in and affordability budgets, right? And the other thing is for every percent that a, a interest rate goes up, we're losing about 18% of the buyers that can actually perform. So do the math. We're down 20% in affordability right. and down 36% of buyers in the marketplace that can actually right. perform. Right. So that's sort of where we're at. Right. Right. Where are we going? Because I mean, that's what everybody wants to know in our business is where is right, this now going? What? We do expect to continue to trend upward and pretty steeply. The feds have made some announcements that they intend to increase the fed funding rate by half a percent in May and then three quarters in June. You know, so keep in mind all of that talk, even though it's not official, it's giving us some indicators of where the market's going and lenders are already making corrections to prepare for that moment. When you're talking about the Fed, you, you named two, two instances, but they've talked about going up as much as, I think, what, six more times? Yeah, total? six more times between 2022 and 2023. Okay. So those are just the most upcoming moments, yeah. right? But they are saying that six more changes over the next 18 months, basically. Yeah, so if I'm a buyer out there, right? I mean, because you're talking to them like we are, um, what advice are you giving the buyer right now that's you know thinking about buying? So a couple of things, you know, you're probably going to want to be shopping below your max buying point because by the time you get under contract, you may no longer qualify at that max. I would be having really good conversations about with your lender. Are they creating a buffer in the interest rate that they're giving you for qualification, right? How much wiggle room are we creating for you when you're out shopping? And then I would pay attention. There are some new programs emerging because of this. Intercap recently rolled out uh, a lock and shop program. So you can actually lock your interest rate for 90 days or 120 days before you have your property, before property has been named. Okay, that's, that's a big win. It's a huge win because what could happen in 90 days is pretty substantial. Yeah, I think the one thing that you and I were talking about too is making sure, right? If right now you're a buyer in the marketplace and you have a pre-approval letter, yeah. right? if it's old, longer or older than two to three weeks, you're going to want to get another pre-approval letter because Absolutely. that could be way out the window. I was going to say in the last three weeks, we've lost three quarters of a point in rate. So if, if those are not recent, please, you know, make sure you're checking in with your lender periodically. Yeah updating your numbers, make sure you're not out shopping there at the max. Talk to your lender about whether or not they allow you to renegotiate. We don't think rates are going down, yeah. but what if they did? What if we're all wrong, right? Yeah. Do you have the op option to float down to a lower rate? Some lenders allow it and some don't. As always, if you have questions, right, give us a call, text us, email us. We'd love to get in touch with you and see you know, what we can do to help you guys in this trying market right now. Until next time, make it a great day.